One of the key traits of successful individuals is their ambition and the relationship they have with time and urgency. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you how I collapse time frames and produce more results than the average human being. My name is Skylar Lewis, and this is the Christian Business Mentor Podcast. Let's dive in. I got a call at 11 p.m. one night a couple months ago, and as I grabbed the phone to answer it, I noticed that I had multiple missed calls and multiple messages. And so I answered the phone, and it was our social media manager that was on the other line, and I could hear the fear in his voice. And he said, Skylar, have you heard the news? And I said, no, what's up? And he said, Bob's dead. And so Bob was our creative director, an incredible human being. And so I immediately hung up the phone. I saw the missed calls from his wife. I called his wife and she let me know that he had passed away on the sofa. Perfectly good health, just passed away and gone like that. Psalm 144 states, man is but a mere breath. His days are like a passing shadow. Our lives will pass. You don't have the time that you think you have. Yet some of us are walking around like we have the rest of our lives to get things done when in reality, life passes by and life will pass you by if you don't increase your sense of urgency. The opportunity you have in business, your business right now, you may not have that opportunity forever. Your health, you may not have that forever. Your relationships with your kids, you may not have those forever. And so your sense of urgency matters. The way you look at time, your experience with time matters. And so for me personally, I have a very high sense of urgency. So I move quick, I talk quick, I get things done quick because I'm on a mission. I'm a man on a mission and I don't wanna waste the time, the opportunities, the health, the skill sets that God's given me and so I want to maximize those skill sets in the shortest time possible while staying in relationship with people. And so part of this is the way that you grow your business and how quickly you grow your business and the platform that you have with your business, right? So if your business is a decent size, God's given you a platform. He's given you that platform and you're called to do something with that platform, right? And so the opportunity is the bigger your business gets, the more responsibility, the more challenging it becomes, but also the platform that you have starts to increase and your influence increases from that platform. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm the founder of Rise Up King, the largest faith-based personal development organization in the country. And it's our mission to reach as many people as possible to help them live lives of excellence, all to glorify God. We do this through our content that you're watching now. We do this through our seminars. So if you're enjoying this, please subscribe and share. Let's get back to the video. When I grew Superior Restoration and I systemized that thing, and I did things nobody else had done in our industry, like my influence grew and I get to choose what I do with that influence. I can use that influence for myself or I can use that influence to serve other people and to increase the kingdom, to use that, those skill sets, that influence, what I've learned to impact the kingdom. And so your sense of urgency, right? We're all called to the Great Commission to go out into the world, to baptize, to convert, and to disciple or to teach. So we're called to go out into the world and help the conversion process and help to teach and disciple other men and women. And so your sense of urgency matters. Like people are dying. People are entering hell. So are you worried? Are you concerned about that? Or... Are you ignorant about that? And do you focus on just your daily tasks, walking slow, moving slow, not executing on the bigger vision that maybe God has for your life? So I wanna challenge you to step into urgency. So what is the definition of urgency? It is importance requiring swift action. So what's important in your life? And many times swift action will be required. But it depends on what your aim is. Is your aim to just have a business that creates a good lifestyle for you? Or is your aim to have a business that glorifies God and creates a platform that you can serve other people at a higher level? I found for me personally, the bigger my business has, has gotten, my influence has increased and I've been able to impact a lot more people. I've been able to transform more lives. I've been able to expand the kingdom based on the influence that God's given me. And the question becomes, your aim matters. 
So what are you aiming at? Are you aiming at your own self gratification or are you aiming at serving the kingdom and your business could be the tool that actually does that. And then we have to make sure that we're not too focused on building the company because relationships are the most important thing. So what happens? We have all of these important things. Your health is an important thing. Your relationship, God is an important thing. So we have all these important things requiring swift action. So what do you do when you have all these competing intentions and aims? Well, first off, you have to get clear on what your primary aim is. Our primary aim is to serve the Lord. When you get clear on that, you can see what your sub aims are. It's the four pillars, faith, family, fitness, and finances, right? Family means not only your, your family, but God's, your, 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 your Christian family also. So it's about loving God and loving other people. Your health is right underneath that. And then your business is underneath that. And so I want to challenge you to step in to a new way of operating, which is a sense of urgency where you are stepping into, Hey, I, I got to build this business because God's doing something with it. I may not have this business forever. Or, hey, I need to spend time with this relationship because this relationship may not be there forever. Or, hey, I got to take care of my body because I may not be able to work out in a couple years. Who knows what could happen? So living with a sense, not of fear, not of worry, but of a mature understanding that life passes. Right. So I have a mature understanding that life is going to pass. So, man, I'm going to make the best out of everything in my life. My connection with a team member, I'm going to spend time with, with him. My connection with my kids, I'm going to make sure I'm really, really intentional because I don't know how long that relationship will be there. So it's a mature understanding that life is fleeting. Life passes. So let's maximize every minute of our lives all for the glory of God.